<laughs> G'day. Look, we're la launching a new platform here. Like, we've been doing it live. Doing what live, dear? Our communion, love. Yep, that's right. This is day, we believe. This I didn't day, do a good, super good job of counting. Yeah. We but, think. We're not, we're and, not we sure. and the Lord yeah. put on our heart to start doing daily communion and I don't rem I have to go back and look, but he was either the day after July 4th on the 5th of July or the 6th of July. All right. Just remember, you told me. We only got 10 minutes. Yeah. So. But look, just quickly, we want to give thanks to Jesus every single day because his return could happen even while we're preaching to you. And right you can now. do communion with us. We have some bread and some juice here we to do. do our communion. On our little communion stone, which is just our it's little a flat thing. Stone. It's just... <laughs> uh, we're in our RV traveling, so we've done our communion in various places across the from California through all the way over to Arkansas. We've and done our communion all the way through in different places, and all the states, and yes, and national parks and lovely, lovely places across America. Yeah, you know, just quickly, a hey, fair income in Australia. We're the same size as America, but we have six states. Here, you got fifty. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, look, I want to read just one thing very, very quickly to you. It's like how many people do you, people know? Hopefully, most know that this COVID was a lie, and that that's it. M Michelle, don't roll your eyes. I'm going to say it. I want to read this. Oh, you foolish Galatians. But this is Paul writing this, and God showed us this, and I want to say this quickly. He says Galatians because he is speaking to the church of Galatians. But this can mean Christians, people, whatever. He says, oh, you foolish, I'm going to say people, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? God is the truth. Fair dinkum, not man, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified. He died for your sins, and he is coming back any minute. Look, just be ready and get all unforgiveness out of your hearts, everybody, because look, just quickly, we, we ministered to a young bloke yesterday. In a food shop, whatever it was called, Walmart, I think, something like that. And he said, oh, no, 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 Jesus can't come back yet. I want to see my kids grow up and get married. And then I showed him the real picture and he went, oh, yes, I do want Jesus to come and back. And children are going to be taken to heaven in the rapture. Like, <laughs> there are so many people that have just retired. Oh, I want to go on my holiday. Jesus can't come back yet. Wow, can't you think going to heaven is going to be better million times than any holiday? It's it's what your heart's desire is. But look, I just want to revisit what I did yesterday in Isaiah chapter 53. Uh really the whole entire chapter is about Jesus. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. We esteemed him stricken, smitten my God, and afflicted. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Amen. The chastisement for Thank our you, peace Lord. was upon him, Keep and Jesus. by his stripes we are healed. Down in verse 10, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He has put him to grief when you make his, home, his soul an offering for sin. Jesus was the final offering he was the ultimate for sacrifice. sin. And, and because of that, so y'all go and read Isaiah 53. It's all about Jesus. And that was 700 years before Jesus was born. So everything in the Bible that is, is coming to pass is, is going to happen even though it delays or it seems like it delays incline your ear to 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 me says the lord 
Hear, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you. The sure mercies of David. Amen. And everything has to do with Jesus and the lineage of David. He is going to return. I'm going to go back to the last chapter 22. Verse 16. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. Amen. And the spirit and the bride say, come. So come, come, come to Jesus. He was prophesied. He fulfilled prophecy. Every prophecy has been fulfilled except the prophecy in Revelation. And, the, and that's and getting the, fulfilled And right the New now. Testament that is uh, confirms Revelation, the ones in, that are in alignment with it. So we must expect this prophecy. Prophecy has a shelf life. We must expect it to be fulfilled. And it's the shelf life's finished. All of God's... We have four minutes. People, look up. Jesus For your commanded redemption you to draws look up nigh. nigh. Everything in the Bible is true. And we're going to do what Jesus said and take the bread in remembrance of him. As we break the bread. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we could do this every second of the day, and that's what we should be doing, is just thanking you, Lord, because without you, we wouldn't be here. You made us. You made everything that we see. You created. You said it, and it was. And anybody who doubts that, I am very, very sad and sorry for you, because Jesus is the only way to heaven. Without Jesus, I'm, I'm going to be blunt, it's hell. What's all those signs, Marie? Three, we have... All right, three minutes, okay. Lord, as we take this This bread, is our first time we've done communion on a timed platform, so... All right, we, I'm getting the wind up. Lord, all we can say is thank you thank as we you. take this bread for what you did for us at Calvary. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, We take this cup, this juice that represents your blood that you have shed for us, Lord. And like you showed me, your blood dripped into the soil when you were hanging there on that cross. And that soil is what we were made of. And now it is renewed. It has got the blood that is put into it. And your father breathed up our nostrils and gave us life. So we had oxygen, we had blood, we were a living thing. Thank you, Lord. That most precious blood, and you have given us the choice to accept your blood or to reject your blood. And the people that have rejected it, I cry out in the name of Jesus, open your eyes, take your blinkers off. This is the only way to be covered in the blood of Jesus to be sanctified, to be loved. He is our redeemer. He is everything. Mm -hmm. As we drink this, we remember. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ah. Oh. Oh, hallelujah. Right, like we always do, we always end with our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, earth as it as is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us, us today, today our, daily our daily bread. And Lord, forgive, forgive us, us of our, our sins as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. us. Lead us not, not into, into temptation, temptation and deliver us, us from the evil one. one. For thine, thine is the, the kingdom, kingdom and the, and the power, power and the glory forever, forever and, and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We love you, but God loves you more. Bye. And please look after your sheep and tell them that Jesus is coming and look up. Amen. God bless all you, my babe. Fair income. Bye-bye. <laughs>